You were asked about a bruise that was on your arm uh, from March 15, 2013. Do you recall how long before the picture you had sustained that bruise? I do. How long? Two weeks. <clears throat> you were asked a number of times by Ms. Vasquez if you took pictures from your incidents earlier in the relationship. Yes. Why didn't you? It was something I started doing only kind of incidentally. You know, I was commenting to my best friend. I was looking for support from my mom, things like that. I, you know, there, there was, I'm ashamed to say, never a thought that, that this would happen. I mean, not until December and my best friend taking pictures of me to capture it, did that even, that wasn't even a thing. It has been suggested by Ms. Vasquez to you in your questions that you didn't tell anyone about the abuse until the TRO. Is that true? Objection, Your Honor. Leading. All right. What if Stay. any? All right. Who did you tell about the abuse during the time it was happening? Objection, Your Honor. Leading. That's not offered to. It's, and it's, hearsay. It's, it's, Sustained. Your Honor, it's prior consistent statement. It's, it's leading. It's there. sustained. Next question. Okay. What, if anything, did you tell to anyone about the abuse? Objection, Your Honor. Is... Hearsay. I'll sustain. Your Honor, Your Honor, may I approach That's him? That's fine. Ms. Heard, how many people have you shared the fact of abuse prior to 2015? Objection, Your Honor. Leading. How Calls many? for hearsay. How many? Overruled. Now. Roughly about 10. Can you name them? Yes. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. She, I think she can, it's not offered, it's just to show that she had, that she informed people before. They're suggesting Objection, Your Honor. Can we approach? Right? This is, again, an approach.
Now, you were asked um, whether you had consulted a medical doctor about any problems with your nose, correct? That's correct. And you indicated that you, in fact, had after the divorce, Objection correct? leading. I, I, did, did, you, did you or did you not consult an ENT after the divorce? Objection leading. Did you produce medical records to the defendants relating to this? Objection. Again, no. Leading calls. Right. I'll sustain the objection. Thank you. And, and Next question. And Your Honor, if right. we could, Let's, the uh, witness we... could be instructed not to answer until I right. lodge my objection. Wait for the objection, could, please. Could we bring up Defendants Exhibit 1077? 1077. Do you recognize this document? My, my screen is black. Oh, sorry. Yes, I do. And could you tell us what it is? That's the uh, what my ENT, the ears, nose, and throat doctor, um, told me was objection, my, Your Honor. Here, the say. All right. I'll, when there's objection, please stop Sorry, talking. Thank you. All right. I'll sustain the objection as to hearsay. Okay. I, I'm. Uh, what if any? You were asked if you had. It, it was suggested that you had not produced this in discovery. Is that true? Or Objection, false? Your Honor. Leading. Your Honor, she and she absolutely so did it's, that. It's leading. Is it's leading question now? I'll sustain mm -hmm. the objection as to leading. What if anything did you do to produce medical records to the defendant to the uh, plaintiff in this case? I turned over all of my devices, and they had a um, the. Johnny's team had a third party or someone they selected as a third party go and pull all relevant documents from those devices, which I handed over. Do you know how many were handed over? I, I, hundreds of thousands, I believe. Maybe, maybe. Objection, Your Honor. Lack of foundation. Okay. All right, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. And do you, what, if anything, did you produce to the plaintiff in connection with your consultation with an ENT specialist relating to your nose. Objection, leading, sustained. What, I foundation, said, what anything, hearsay. What, what if anything, it's not the cure-all, it's sustained. When did you see an ENT specialist? 2017 or 2016 or 17. And as a result of that consultation, what did you learn about your nose? Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. I'm not asking her to tell what they said. No, I'll sustain the objection. What, if any, production did you make to the plaintiffs of your medical records with the ENT. Objection, Your Honor. Lack of foundation. If you, only, I, if you only have foundation. Do you know whether the records, medical records uh, from your EMT were produced in discovery? Objection, in this case? Your Honor. Lack of foundation calls for speculation. I'm just I'm I'm asking. Overruled if she knows. Thank you. Yes. And do you rec do you recall? I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, what, if anything, did the medical records reflect about your nose? Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. Do you have injuries to your nose? Yes. Please describe those to the jury. I have um, I'm gonna a bunch of scar to the, tissue. I'm going to object to the extent it calls for hearsay and lack of foundation. Oh, She's, overruled. An improper expert opinion. Well, we'll I, she can certainly testify to. We'll, we'll see where it goes. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. I have um, a significant amount of scar tissue in my nose. Objection, Your Honor. I'll sustain the objection. What, if any, difficulty do you have breathing? Objection leading. What, if anything, and that does cure on no, it. doesn't, but oh, I'll, I'll, I'll overrule the objection. Thank you.
Do you remember the question? I have um, a significant amount of trouble breathing at night, and I have been putting off having surgery for it. Okay. Now, you were asked about December 15, 2015, and Ms. Vasquez suggested that you did not report the abuse or the injuries to Aaron Falati. Do you recall Objection, that Objection, Your Honor. Leading. Yes. I'm entitled to go into what Ms. Vasquez it's asked. Objection is leading. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Um, did you report, what if anything did you report to Aaron Falati about the abuse you sustained on 12-15-2015? Objection leading Your and hearsay. Approach.
Did you tell Nurse Filati on 12-16-2015 about the injuries you sustained from the 12-15-2015 attack? I did. I believe I sent her pictures, too. Okay. Um, and did you text with Nurse Filati on 12-16-2015 about the injuries that you had suffered as a result of Mr. Depp's attack on you on 12-15? Yes, she guided me through a concussion check. And did you tell Connell Cowan about the injuries you sustained? Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. It's prior consistent statements, Your Honor. All right, I'm gonna sustain the objection at this point. Next question. Do you recall Dr. Laurel Anderson testifying that she saw two black eyes Objection, on 1217? Sustain us the leading. Okay. What, if anything, do you recall from Laurel Anderson's testimony in this case about what she observed on 1217 2015? Objection, Your Honor. This is outside the scope of cross-examination. It's prior consistent statements. I'm going to sustain the objection. It's observations I, I, for I'm the 1217, the same day. Sustain the objection. Could... Next question. May, may I approach? Okay. When in December did you see Dr. Laurel Anderson? Objection, lack of foundation. Overrule. I saw her two days after the attack. So on what day did you see her then? Um, that would have been the 17th of December, 2016, and I told her what happened. Okay. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. And w when did you uh, see Dr. Connell Cowan? I saw him the next day, December 16th, is my best recollection. Let's jump to East Asia for a moment. Um, and we saw a number of pictures from the backless dress. Um, what, if any, motivation would you have to claim that Mr. Depp was kneeling on your back knowing you had a backless dress. Objection, Your Honor. I, leading, I think I can bring calls for speculation. It's still, it's still leading, I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Why, would, why did you say that Mr. Depp was kneeling on your back in East Asia? In the closet of the hotel room in Tokyo, um, I said that because it happened to me. And it would have been much more convenient if I was making it up to not include that detail, knowing I had a backless dress and I walked a press line and got photographed. Now, we've heard testimony about Mr. Depp uh, making a total of 65 million in 2015 and 2016 from his experts. Objection, Your Honor. Why leading? You, I haven't asked hearsay. I mean, why did you not ask for thirty-two point five million from Mr. Depp? Your Honor, leading. I said, why did you not ask? Irrelevant. I'll sustain the objection. Sustain objection to leading. Next question. Why? Why can I just ask? Why did you not ask for thirty-two point five million from Mr. Depp? Because I don't want Austin it. answered, relevance. Oh, overruled, good. Because I didn't want it. I realized that that's what I was entitled to, but I didn't want it. That's simple.
the tape recording that was played that has you laughing quite a bit, can you tell the jury what the context of that particular tape recording was? I don't really um, recall a whole lot about what was going on. I know we had been fighting kind of ad nauseum and in this sort of loop, if you will, and I'm doing my best to um, not show my pain. That's what I was trying to do, was trying to be tough, not show what kind of pain I was in. Okay. Now, Ms. Vasquez asked you about how you got your role in Aquaman. Could you please describe to the jury how you got your role yes. in Aquaman? I auditioned. Not Johnny. I auditioned. I worked really hard, and I went to where we were filming the, the first movie, Justice League. I went, I think, five or five and a half months early before filming commenced when I heard that they wanted to fire me, and so I put myself in the job. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. Sustain. Keep it away. I worked what, really what hard. <laughs> I worked really hard on that and had to prove myself, and I did that. For even though I was only filming for six days, I was there for six months. Just worked my butt off. That's what an, why. What if any role did Mr. Depp play in your getting Aquaman? He tried to have me fired from it. Objection, Your Honor. Speculation. All right, I'll sustain his speculation. How do you know that he tried to have you fired? Objection, from? Your Honor. Calls for speculation and hearsay and lack of foundation. Founda I'm trying to lay a foundation. All right, if you lay a foundation. I saw it. I saw the emails. I saw the texts. I'll sustain the objection as to hearsay. Next question. You were asked about Isaac Baruch and why he and and that he saw no marks. What is your recollection of your interaction with Isaac Baruch during the week of May twenty second? I saw Isaac when I was coming or going, meaning I was leaving or arriving to the building. I saw him at a distance. We did not have a. a in-depth conversation, nor would we. Um, and I told him, actually, right after it happened, what his friend Objection, had done. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. I, I don't think it's offered to prove the truth of the matter asserted. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Okay. Stay away from what was said. Can you just tell us what, what interaction you had with him and, and his opportunity to observe you with absolutely no makeup? Objection, That's Your impossible. Honor, leading. I'll sustain the objection. It's leading. Please describe for the jury your interaction with Isaac Baruch during the week of May 22nd. Well, not only did I have makeup on, but I, I did attempt to kind of let him know what happened. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. You were asked some questions about Officer Melissa Science's testimony. What... <clears throat> If anything, do you recall relating to Officer Melissa Sines' testimony relating to your injuries? Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. Your Honor said I could redirect after the cross-examination. Do you want to approach? What, if anything, do you recall of Officer Sines' testimony in this case relating to your injuries and the property destruction? I recall her saying that 
she didn't feel that my the state I was in um, was enough of an injury to her or wasn't injury seeming to her. Okay. And what about the property damage? She claims she did not see any property damage, but I walked with her over broken glass, so I i don't know why she's saying that. Okay. What, if any, interactions did you have with Alejandro Romero during the week of May 22? I spoke to him briefly. Objection, Your Honor, to the extent it calls for hearsay. Uh, overruled at this point, just spoke to him. I just I spoke to him briefly in passing as I was entering and maybe when, when I was exiting the building, but always when I was on my for speculation. What did he do to her? Unintelligible. I, I, I don't understand well, the question. Overruled. We'll see where it goes. Uh, he was carrying the paper that had that headline on it that he leaked and threw it at me at the UK trial. We were unfortunately sat kind of actually literally next to one another with COVID spacing in between us, and he threw the paper down at me as he sat down with that on the cover. And where was that? In the UK, at the UK trial. Objection, Your Honor, this is beyond the scope. That's not beyond the no, scope. Overruled. Thank you. Why did you tweet about the makeup and Mr. Waldman? Because he was calling me a liar and a hoaxer and that this was an elaborate hoax just to get Johnny. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. I'll sustain the objection, next question. Next question. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't have any more questions, Your Honor. All right. Thank you. All right. Ma'am, you can have a seat next to your attorney, okay? You can, you can go ahead and have a seat next to her. That's fine. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and take our afternoon recess.